Wind energy is a rapidly growing technology that is being utilized all over the United States as well as the world. As this technology becomes more practical in use, combined with the expanding enthusiasm for alternative energy, Reno County community members are exploring wind energy potential across the county. Kansas' legislative support was also shown when Senator Terry Bruce accompanied a Reno County contingency to the Elk River Wind Farm to help understand wind energy in practice. With the recent increase in gasoline and other fossil fuels, the search for alternatives has been sparked. These fossil fuels not only power our cars, but our homes as well. Searching for a practical alternative, wind energy continues to dominate the field. The efficiency of wind turbines has increased significantly in recent years. Kansas is one of the top three potential wind energy states in North America. Anyone who lives in Kansas has felt the effects of a constant and reliable winds, which when combined with the vast flat prairie lands produce an ideal location for wind energy. The wind turbines and props, each towering 375 feet above the prairie, aren't any run-of-the-mill turbines. Each turbine provides enough power to run about 450 homes. These high-tech scientific machines are loaded with computer systems that help constantly monitor each individual tower. On top of automated computer monitoring, all gathered information is monitored manually 24-7. There are a few misconceptions about this alternative energy technology. One is that the turbines are loud and annoying. But listen. The natural sound of the wind easily overpowers most noise from the turbine. These are virtually silent machines that the most audible functions are the tips of the blades whipping around at more than 150 miles per hour. But don't worry, these turbines turn at a maximum of only 23 revolutions per minute. The speed of the blades concerns some environmentalists regarding the safety of natural wildlife, including birds. At the Elk River Wind Farm, Pete Farrell is also very concerned about the natural wildlife. Scientists from K-State annually conduct studies of the turbines in Beaumont. They have concluded that very few to no birds have been harmed from the spinning blades. Another major concern is the permanent damage of installing these turbines. Each turbine installed results in about one acre of land lost to production. But let's put this in perspective. Each oil pump jack installed also causes one acre of lost land. Considering the long-term benefits, benefits easily lasting over 20 years, one acre of land for every 4,200 homes powered by wind is a reasonable solution. There are many wind energy benefits for rural communities, including economic benefits for inward investment and payments in lieu of taxes, New income for landowners, which creates additional spending in local communities, new jobs for young graduates and training opportunities for community colleges, and the procurement of goods and services from local retailers, tourism potential, and associated startup industries, including manufacturing of wind components. According to the American Wind Energy Association, on a per megawatt basis, wind power contributes more to job creation and economic development in rural areas than any other type of electric power generation. The need for more energy is here. By pushing forward with wind energy, we can tap into an unlimited natural resource as well as help ensure future generations have an unspoiled earth to call home. Please, help support the development of wind energy in Reno County.